Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve count good nodes in a binary tree. This is according to leak code. This is Microsoft's most asked question of 2021 so far. And in my opinion, it's actually a pretty good problem to understand. A lot of good fundamental knowledge can be gained from this problem. So we're given the root of a binary tree that is going to always be non-empty. We want to count the number of good nodes in the tree and a good node is defined. So for example, take node X, it is defined as a good node if, for example, let's take this node four, if from the path, from the root node all the way down to this node, this path in particular, if there are no nodes in this path that have a greater value than this particular node. So basically along this path, if there isn't any value larger than four, then this node four counts as a good node. What about one? Let's take the path from the root to one. Are there nodes greater than the value one along this path? Yes, because this node three is greater than this node one, so then one is not a good node. So we can solve this problem in linear time, big O of n time, where n is the number of nodes, and memory complexity is going to be log n, or in other words, the height of the tree, which technically could be greater than log n, it could be as big as n. And we can accomplish this with a simple tree traversal. In particular, we're gonna be using pre-order traversal, meaning when we recursively run DFS on this, we're gonna process each node before we do recursively the left subtree and recursively the right subtree. So the first question is, is the root node technically a good node? Well, this is basically the entire path. Are there any nodes greater than three? No. So technically, yes, the root node does count as a good node. So what we're going to do now, we've counted one as we found one good node. And now we want to know how many good nodes are there in the left subtree and how many good nodes are there in the right subtree? Well, first, let's do the left subtree, even though we could do it in the opposite order, but I'm just going to do the left first. So to count how many good nodes are in this left subtree, first we have to we have to run the DFS on the left child. But before we do that, we have to pass to this left child. We have to pass what's the greatest value we have seen so far. We don't have to pass all the values we've seen so far. We just have to pass the greatest because then we're gonna check for every node. Is this is the greatest node that we've seen so far somehow greater than this node? If it is, then this is not a good node. So to this node, we're gonna pass the value three. We're gonna now process this. The greatest we've seen so far is three. One is smaller than that. This is not a good node. So this does not count, but we still have to recursively run DFS on the left and right. Now, when we do run DFS on the left, obviously it doesn't have a right subtree, but on the left subtree, what value are we gonna pass here? Well, we would wanna take the max of three, which was the parents max and the value here, of course, one is smaller than three. So we're gonna pass three to this uh, node as well. So, so far the max we've seen is three. Is, is the max greater than this node? It's not. So even though they're the exact same value, this still counts as a good node. So that's what we learned. And so now we have seen two good nodes so far. Now the same thing, we're going to do on the right subtree, literally the exact same thing, just recursively doing the same thing. We're going to pass three to this node because three is the max value we've seen so far from the root, right? If there was a really big value here, we wouldn't want to transfer it to the right subtree, but we're counting from the root downwards. So let's look at four. Is this max value greater than four? It's not. So then four does count as a good node. Now let's do the same thing for the left subtree. But when we go to the left subtree, we're not passing three, we're passing four because so far now along this path, the max value we've encountered is four. So we're gonna pass four to this child node one. Now obviously four is greater than one, so this does not count as a good node. Same thing on the right node, we're gonna pass four down to this node. The max we've seen so far is four, but this value five is greater than it. Four is not greater than five, so this counts as another good node. So all together, you can look, we have one, two, three, four good nodes, and we would, you know, from the root, what would we actually do? We'd say, okay, we so far we found one uh, good node at this root. 
in the left, right, plus left, this is basically the equation we're going to use, 1 plus left plus right, of course. Left is actually going to be 1 because there's one good node in the left subtree. Right is actually going to be 2. There's two good nodes in the right subtree, so 1 plus 1 plus 2, that's going to be 4. So from the root, we're going to return 4 good nodes in this entire tree. So with that being said, we can finally jump into the code. Okay, so we know this is going to be a recursive function, but in our recursive function, we're going to have to pass in more than just the root, So, which is why I'm going to define a separate function inside of this function, DFS. Obviously, we're going to pass in the node or the root or whatever you want to call it, but we're also going to pass in what the max value is so far from the path from the root all the way down to every particular node. And I didn't mention this, but our base case, of course, is going to be if the node we reach is null, right? So if not node. Now, what are we going to return then? Does an empty tree have any good nodes? Of course it doesn't. So we're going to return zero, right? Okay, so now we got to a node that is non-empty. We want to know, is this particular node a good node or not? Well, let's... Uh, Let's compute that into our result. So we're going to say, okay, result is going to be one if this node is a good node. How do we know it's a, if it's a good node? If the node dot value is greater than or equal to the max value encountered so far. Otherwise, the result so far is going to be zero, meaning this node is not a good node. Next, we want to do is update our max value so far, right? We're just going to take the max of itself and the max of the current node's value. So we've updated our max value so far. Why did we do this? Because of course, we're gonna need to pass this along to our DFS recursive call. Of course, we're gonna run DFS on the node's left child, passing in the max value. And of course, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the right child, the right subtree, passing in the max value so far. Now, what are we gonna do with the results of these two recursive calls? Well, this function itself is just counting the number of good nodes so we're going to take the result of it and add it to our result for both of these function calls. We're going to count the number of good nodes in the left and right subtree, adding it to the result. Once that's been computed, then we can go ahead and actually return that result value. So you can see that this DFS is basically computing the result that we want. Of course, we want to compute it for the entire tree. So when we actually call our DFS, we're going to call it on the root node. Now, what default value can we pass in for the max value so far? Well, we could pass in some kind of negative infinity, right, or whatever, but it actually works out as well if we just pass in the root dot value, because as long as this root is greater than or equal to the max value so far, it does count as a good node. And we know that the root node always counts as a good node, so this is going to work out for us. Now, what we actually want to do is return the result of this function call, and then we're good to go. As you can see, it's pretty dang efficient. So this is a good fundamental binary tree question to understand your pre-order traversal. And it also happens to be the most common asked question by Microsoft of 2021. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.